Howdy, how's it going? My name's Daffy Chappy, and one of the most annoying things in the world is when you've been spending time with this girl or guy, things are going great, you laugh at each other's sandwiches, total chemistry, when all of a sudden you accidentally walk in on them and BAM, they're a changeling, in the middle of a changing, and you're left thinking either this is the worst thing that's ever happened to my love life, or this is the best thing that's ever happened to my love life. So get ready to dive back into the world of Eberron, because the times they are a changeling, and we're gonna talk about it. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you feel like I might not even be the real Slim Shady, feel free to run your changelings however you want, but with that out of the way, let's begin. So changelings are one of the unique races of Eberron that spawned when humans decided to do whoopee with a bunch of doppelgangers, which I should remind you, look like this. And then eventually changelings started to pop out, and the world was not super thrilled about it. Changelings have the unique racial trait of being able to transform into any humanoid they've ever seen at will, and they can remain in this form for as long as they'd like, even possibly until the day they die, with their progeny also being changelings so that the race perpetuates even more. When they're not trying to look like your great grand uncle Sam, changelings are actually a unisex species with pale everything and very muted features, looking almost like an undetailed mannequin with hair that can move and will kick your ass for bumping into it in the mall. That being said, most changelings do make the conscious decision to stay shifted in either one or multiple different normal forms, either because they're trying to slip into a sense of normalcy where they won't spook the population, or because they understand and enjoy the very unique position that they have where they can actually see the world from all of its different perspectives, letting them dip into and play around with all that the world has to offer. See, changelings are the real gamers, not because they have no life, but because they choose to have many. Unfortunately, unlike real gamers, changelings rarely ever rise up to get that bread, because the fact that a species exists that can masquerade as literally anybody means that the world is constantly on edge for imposters, and newcomers to a town are regularly ostracized for fear of them being a changeling that will come in and take their muns. The stereotype of changelings being charlatans, thieves, assassins, cutthroats, bandits, deluxe prostitutes, and life-stealing fey is a notion that is held by most creatures, which inevitably just boils down to changelings equals bad. What's worse is that these beliefs aren't totally totally unfounded, as changelings did often act as spies and secret agents during the last war. So that, coupled with the ease of access that changelings get to everybody else's stuff, means that every time a person gets caught stealing something, people gotta pull on their face to make sure it's not a changeling. Now, I do gotta say that pulling on a changeling's face doesn't actually do anything, but it does bring up the thought about how many different crimes you could get away with if you just said that a changeling did it. Changeling society is sort of... non-existent. There aren't really any communities where bundles of changelings huddle up and party until they're literally blue in the face, but individuals changelings do tend to carry small aspects of the race around as a whole. For instance, it's common for changelings to wind up worshipping the Eberronian god known as the Traveler, since he's the god of change and, well, traveling, and changelings also tend to have a sort of detached feeling from what's happening in the world, given that no matter what does end up happening, changelings are guaranteed to be able to adapt to it. Like, we can all think about what kind of fuckery we would get into if we suddenly got shape-shifting powers, but if you stop to think about it, if you were born with those powers and didn't really know how it felt to not have that escape button from your life, then the world suddenly becomes a lot less fruitful. Why become a politician if you can just change with the world? As long as you aren't dumb, nobody will really find out about you, and if they do, you can just skip town and start again. Life without consequences also becomes life without reward for acting. But, just in case you have a strong longing for acting as the best actors in the world, the Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron gives us stats for the changeling that may one day be updated, but it hasn't happened yet, so in addition to the obvious shape-shifting powers, changelings get a bonus to charisma in either dex or int, they get proficiency in either deception, insight, persuasion, or intimidation, they can reveal their true form for a moment to give enemies disadvantage on an attack, and they get double proficiency with a tool related to one of their personas. Honestly, changelings are some of the most pervasive and intrusive races in all of D&D, and while they do have the finicky bit of having to always get clothes to match your new appearance, if they can handle that, then suddenly every roleplay encounter becomes just the most ridiculous breeze, unless you make shit up to fuck with them. In any case, no matter what you decide to do with your changeling, just like the shape-shifting powers that they have, so too will you be able to find the right form for the job. But that'll about do it! I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to do all that stupid YouTube shit, don't walk in on your significant other if you don't want to be surprised, and remember that pledging to my Patreon is the only guarantee that the money you have will be going to the real me. But yeah, Davy out.